Right, hello everybody. Just going to do a bit quick cleaning on my erg before I jump on. I was feeling a bit rough in my warm up. Maintenance. Keep the maintenance. See, can you hear that? Smooth. That's what we want. That's what we want. Smooth. Hygiene as well. Another another big part of what we're doing. Right, so uh, today we're just going to do fitness session, basically. Um, and yeah, it's only 40 minutes, but if we do the 40 minutes, good intensity, good intent, um, you have a good solid warm up beforehand. So I've been on here for nearly five minutes and I was building up to my pace. So I started feeling, getting a good puff on, um, starting to feel myself warm up. I'm going to break into a sweat pretty quickly when I get into this. Because if you do 40 minutes pretty much around your zone, it's perfect. Okay, that's you're into it. It's fitness building area. Um, you nail it. Okay, rather than if you sit there and go, okay, I'm going to set the clock for 60 minutes or 55 minutes, whatever the hell you're going to do. And then you take 10, 12 minutes to warm up into it and, oh, okay, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. You sort of wasted a little bit of that time. So you will warm up into this a little bit, but it's the focus and the intent that you're actually doing the piece at is where you get the benefit, okay? So what we're doing today with that is the first piece, we're just going to split it in half, 18 for the first half of it, 20 for the second half, and then the second one we're just going to do 20 right, okay? Now, yeah, we're working on... Um, we're working on the rhythm and the technique, and even I've been critiquing myself a little bit, um, and there is one part of my stroke that it's always been like that, and it's probably worse now that I'm retired, um, but it is probably looking for a little bit more stretch over for myself. Like, I talk about coming into the front and, like, you're sitting into the front so that we're there in a good position. You know, we're, we're at the front there in a good position. I probably just need to get that position a little bit earlier through there. Rather, I'm, I'm, when you're learning how to use the row machine, yes, you've got to be quite stretched and then come forward. But as you see, that's quite mechanical. And you see that hard knee break. Whereas if it can all flow together like that, so much more efficient. Okay, And it just allows you to, to just easily work with the chain. You know, this chain's trying to zip back. And you just soft knees, you know, there's not that tension of getting that stretch too much and that, that break in the knees. So that's the one thing that we can work on today is just getting into that nice position around the front. And always, 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 the, you know, no matter, I'm still working on it. Hand on heart, put my finger in the air and I'll say I'm one of the biggest culprits is that movement around there. So we want that movement around here, that connection and as we come in and we leave the hands out the front and we just start pushing away through there, okay? So as we go up and that, we don't want to come in like this and then push out because we just lose the front. Whereas if we're actually, if we're actively thinking of changing that direction through there, we're packing the speed, we're able to leave the hands out long, and move away from it, okay? So because we've got the time, work the drive, so we're working, you know, and we're getting a good swing, we're sitting back, we're engaging the core, and then we're coming back and we're resting, we're going, okay, how did that one feel? Did I get a good drive? Did I get a good legs and body? How did my setup come? Am I relaxed? Because through this part here, we should literally just be feeling the chain trying to take us forward, okay? Everything just switched off. You know, we're getting a good stretch and stuff, but we're just floating with it, coming forward. Feet are relaxed in your shoes. Yes, I, yeah, I'm in bare feet because that's what I like doing, and I don't want to have sweaty shoes. But I can feel, I can feel my toes going up and down a little bit like that. Um, we used to always talk about one thing in the boat. We used to say piano fingers, because you know you you can't play the piano like this, but you can do it with nice relaxed. And it's the same thing with your toes, is you just want loose toes. You want to be able to feel it on the top of your shoe, but you also want to be able to like, oh, can I press the bottom of it? Yeah, I can do that. So your feet are virtually floating inside the shoe, okay? Um, and so basically that's, that's a really good 
focal point around what you're trying to do. So hopefully it's a little bit of an explanation. Hopefully you've been warming up while we've been doing it because we're going to punch into it and get into it right now. Okay, so there is only a 60 second break. Enough to wipe your hands, have a drink. We're not letting it slow down too much. Um, and yeah, it just, it just has that mental break. It's like, okay, I've seen the clock tick down. I'm ready to do the next one. Um, it's a perfect way to break up the longer pieces, the longer rows, but it doesn't allow us to uh, to sort of come down off it too much. So <sighs> intervals again, just the time. Click back to 20 minutes, take that one out of there, and then set that rest time for 60 seconds, one minute. Okay, so we've all got some focal points to work on, I guess. Um, as well, if you want, have a play with your drag. Um, you know, always, always just searching for little things that can help you out. Um, you know, you might find certain drags are better at high rate, some are better at low rate. And yeah, that's that's fine as long as we're not like too far apart because ultimately whatever we do here, we take through the higher ratings, we take that through the higher ratings, and then we take that through the race pace. So, you know, ultimately we don't really want to be training down low, smashing it up, up high, or vice versa, that we're training up high, smashing it down low. Um, it's just because there is a different feeling, there's a different way that you have to move different muscles, like groups that are using more strength than others. Um, yeah, so let's do it. Let's do it. So straight on to the money. Build into it. Get that stretch. Remember, we're working the bodies. We're working the lungs, we're working the technique, okay? All of, all of the above. Hey, Gooch, hey? You good dog, hanging out. All right, so nice and steady. All right, 18 rate, first 20. Are you ready? Rope. So let's focus that front turn right off the money. Stretch naturally. Good push. Everybody does have different flexibilities, hence my lower back's pretty terrible. It doesn't allow me to get a huge set up through there, but once my hips are loose, it allows me to get more as I come forward. This is why there's, there's one technique, I guess, but slight variations for every single person. We get all the basics right for your body. It allows you to maximize return for the effort we're putting in.
So feel that push away. Body swinging. Remember the basics. The legs. Driving the body. hang feel that pick up hands around the front smooth around Solid, one smooth drive. Shake it out. Regather yourself. Focus on the little points. Feel the pack up. Nice and smooth. Good hang. Let's focus that elastic stretch through there and coming forward.
barely under the arms. Those lats. They're the hanging muscles. Like hanging off a bar, chin up bar, engaging the lats to hold the weight. Focus that stretch again. Good. Nice hang. Nice and tall. Good. Find the breathe, where you're breathing, during the strokes, just like that, free it up, 20 or 8, shouldn't take much, remember, it's easy speed. Take the work from 18 Add a bit more acceleration Hand speed around the back Good Nice hang. Focus the front. Change in direction. Feel a sit up. All the way forward. Both feet. Feel the push. Even together. Quads. Glutes. Nice. 
Feel the push. Move the hands. Smooth. Remember, chain on a pretty good plane. Draw through underneath the boobs, underneath the pecs, flat arms, try and get them parallel, nice flat wrists. Hey pup. Hey, get out of there. Come on. Stealing my marketing. Yeah, good hang. Feel the compression. Feel the core around the back as we get drawn over. Elastic. Sitting in a groove. Relax. Work rest. Continuous motion. Nice. Good. Keep the flow. Continuous movement. Nice rhythm. Feel the hang. Change in direction. A 
elastic length. Draw us over. Nice work. Last minute at this. Good focus. Loose feet, loose legs, soft knees. It's only five more strokes. Nice. So, good focus, guys. It's not enough time to recover, so keep moving a bit. Quick drink. Clean yourselves up. My arms are getting sweaty. Handles getting sweaty. I'm still trying to stay relaxed. This is just a solid 20 minutes, okay? Let's get into that rhythm. Might take a couple of minutes to get back onto the speed. Try and do it in a minute, 30 seconds if we can. Here we go. Now. Yeah, good. So stretch it out. Acceleration back. Want to sit in this rhythm. Work the little things. For the next 19 and a half minutes. Check the length, feel the acceleration. Relaxed. an easy speed. Breathing. Work rest.
focus there. Hands around the back, smooth, leading us away. Draw the body from the hips. What are you getting into, buddy? Come here. Dogs. You're a good dog, aren't you, Gucci? So keep that stretch. Now we focus around the front. We roll in. Roll around. Nice rhythm. Feel the hang. Feel the push. Remember, it's one continuous push, not any second tape to flick the body. It's just one open out. Sit back into a lazy boy. Nice rhythm. Breathing. Relax the face muscles. Relax all the muscles here. Switch off. Just enough core stability. Keep us sitting tall. That compression <clears throat> where the muscles start to contract again and push. Focus on your zone. Breathing. Personal composure. Just want to be able to tap along at this speed all the way home. Continuous. Nice rhythm.
Good. Good. Have a good time. Think about your rhythm. Sitting tall. Hold your consistency. The longer you train, the easier you'll find you can manage yourself. Nice. Good. Hang. Sitting tall. Focus that push. Stretch, elastic and natural. Feeling the rhythm, smooth. Yeah, ten minutes to go. Zone into it. Every 30 seconds, have a mental check about a certain part of your stroke. Low battery. Good. Hang and swing. Yeah, focus the hang. Under the armpit. Good. Excuse me. Feel the rhythm, feel the glide. Think about those feet again. Loosen the shoe, not too much pull on the strap. Load as the seat comes, as the handle draw. Draws us forward. Good. 
good. Nice. Feel the push. Holding your split. It's only seven minutes. Break it down. Focus each minute. Work out your meters in your head. Do a bit of math. Good. All the time. Let's focus around the front again. Hang and push. Change in direction. Loose. Good. Hang. Good swing. Off the legs. Yeah, hang. Seat. Five minutes. Yeah, breathe. Loose. Relax. Shake it out. Get into the movement. Push. Body. Nice. Legs drive the body. Focus. Stretch. Relax it. Roll to the front. Nice rhythm. Hang. Loose feet. Loosen the fingers. Armpits. No tension on the shoulder. Good. Good 
hang. Sitting tall. Yeah, good work, guys. Breathe. Composure. We're somewhere around 500 to go for everybody. Somewhere. Most people should be through by now. So keep the focus. Minute and a half. Good. Good press. Focus that stretch once again, drawing us over. Only 10 strokes left. Focus. Tall. Hands. Heads up. Breathe. Swing. Hang. And legs. Nice. Reset your machine. Save it into your memory. Really nice, guys. Man. Good sweat workout today. So, stretch it out. Good, good warm down. Move easy for a minute or so. Do two or three minutes of just working it back down and get off, have a walk, jump on a bike, whatever you can do. Have a drink. One of those other things. But really good. You know, it's just training pace stuff that, you know, with stuff we just put in the bank, you do that. Over the weeks you get quicker, you know, if you started to really fade off towards the end, you know, we do that in two weeks, something similar. You might find that you only fade with a couple of minutes to go. You know, you really push through that sort of third quarter of the piece. Um, and you feel a bit better in yourself as well. And, you know, maybe you might go even, you might go faster, you know, in the first part. Um, so it's about learning things, learning what you can hold, uh, and then just pushing the technique boundaries. You know, good focus on that stretch. I can really feel it because I'm stiff, must be getting old. Um, but it was really good to get that little bit of focus while we just tapping it along. You know, just moving the hands around, getting a bit more stretch and focus and flow. You know, we had some, I always felt when I had that focus around the front, you know, you might notice that your split changes for a couple, you know, which means you have picked it up a bit better for those strokes and then you're on top of the flywheel again. Um, so it's about holding those little changes that make things a bit better. 
And as I've always said, it's the, the ability to work, you know, have hanging muscles, working muscles, and then it's like I'm having a, a recovery, you know. 100 meter sprinters, you watch the likes of Usain Bolt, still trying to be relaxed when their feet aren't on the ground, which is a bloody difficult thing to do because they're going so fast, but they're trying to keep their faces relaxed. Any extra tension, you know, that can slip into your muscles, um, you just want to be able to get that out. So, you know, I always talk about relaxing that face, shaking it out, you know, it's just the mindset because all of a sudden you might be running along and you think, shit, I'm feeling tight because I've been doing that too much. So then it's just a check in it, am I under here? Am I hanging? You know, and it's, it's the face, is the face starting to come down a little bit like that? So is it, I need to lift my head up, which can help with the posture. And it's the grimacing, you know, that sort of thing. We want to make sure anything that's not making this thing work fast, we want to eliminate as much, as much of it as possible. It's not always going to be gone, but as much as possible. So, great work, team. Clean up your erg. I know I have to because she is pretty wet and sweaty. Um, and, yeah, looking forward to comments. Um, hopefully you're seeing some really good results. Tell your friends to subscribe. Remember, I'm always going to say it. Erg data, Concept2 logbook. Cradles. Get a phone cradle from Concept2 or a PM5. Um, and if you don't have a Concept2 row machine, <laughs> maybe go out and see if you can get one. Um, hire them. Buy them. Um, they're bloody good investment, I'll tell you. Um, for a home gym, these things break in half. They store away pretty easy. Um, and if you are on, a, on another machine, um, hopefully this, you know, the timings and stuff, you can still hear it. You're still working with some of the, I'm not sure if it'll have the same adjustability, I think, for, um, for times and doing intervals and things like that. Um, so if not, then maybe you just need to start. And then when we stop, just listen to my voice and, and listen to what I'm doing and, uh, and go from there. So all the best, everyone. Keep going. Keep getting better. That's what we want.